training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging, work seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. back to Hera High School for the boys matchup against Elgin High School the Owls versus the Panthers team captains just met at half court I will call the starting lineups I don't know the names of the Owls I don't have their rosters but number 25, number one, number 20, number 24, and number four. I do have their lineup. I'll catch their names up here in just a minute. Jordan Wilson, Jaden Johnson, Stephen Christmas, Jaden Parker are your starters for Elgin. Your starting lineup. Your starting lineup for Hera, a junior, number zero, Kay Jackson, running the point guard position. Number one, Garrett Rabine, the Twin Towers. His brother, number two, Gage Rabine. Senior number 24, Landon Wicker, and a senior number 32, Demarion Cooper. Their boys will be looking to get uh, sealed up 
the evening with three wins. Our JV girls won. Our Lady Panthers won. And then the boys, this is our final game of the evening. We will stay on this broadcast following this matchup to host homecoming this evening. So if you're a, a fan of homecoming, stay tuned for the homecoming ceremonies following this game on this channel. We're well, looking to jump the ball. Jeremy, it doesn't look like we have a height discrepancy here. As Elgin wins the jump. Elgin's got the jump. They're coming the other direction. Ball up top, passes over to number 24. They're running their guards down underneath and back around. Passes to the corner, number four's got the ball. Gets fouled by 32, Cooper. That's his first foul. Inbound underneath, 24's got the ball on the far side. Up to number 25. Number 25, he carries the ball. Guy he was looking to pass to ends up cutting, causing the turnover. Kay Jackson's got the ball, getting the play from the coach. He's crossing half court. Passes cross court down to Ravine number one. He cross court passes it to Cooper. Down on the block to Ravine number two. And we get a foul on number 20. will inbound the ball down on the baseline. Ravine one to Ravine two, back to Ravine one. He goes up, unable to finish that shot, but we get a rebound, put back, and a foul. Lana Wicker will go to the line. His first shot is up, looks good. And it is good. Second free throw is away. Up and in. 2 nothing, Hera. Full court pressure. They're able to break that press. Over to the far side. We take a deep three. It's off. Rebound collected by Elgin. Up, miss. Ravine number two grabs the rebound. Up the court to number 24. He cross court passes the ball and turns it over. Elgin's gonna bring the ball the other way. Up the near side. Number one's got the ball at the top of the key. Getting the offense set. Over to the other side of number 20. Setting screens down in the paint. Harris working hard to fight around those screens. Ball gets to the baseline. Number one up and misses. And he calls a jump at the top of the shot as one of the Ravine twins goes up and blocks it. Inbound to Kay Jackson. He brings it up the court. Crossing half court, passes it over to number 24. Landon, he dribbles back to Cade. Over to uh, Ravine number two, to Cooper in the paint. He's unable to collect the pass. Eldrin grabs the ball, it's coming the other way. Two nothing, Hera. Pass to the far side. Back to number one, he's got an open three shot off the back of the rim. Landon grabs the rebound, passes to Ravine number one. He's up the far side, between his legs, passes back to Landon. Now they set up at the top of the key. Cooper's got the ball over to Cade. He's going to pass it to Land or uh, Ravine. He goes up for the layup, misses it. Number four for the Owls grabs rebound, flex it, brings it up the court on the far side. He's going to take Cooper to the hole, passes it to the far wing. Three-point shot all the way down and back out. 
Rebound to Owls. Number 25 takes the three-point shot off the front of the rim. Ravine does a great block out, grabs that rebound. Cade bringing the ball up the court, full speed, into the paint, and he is fouled. Nope, the call a carry. Inbounds, cross court. He pulls it out, passes to number 25. He hits the paint, Euro step, misses the shot, rebound Owls, block by Ravine number one. Ravine number two grabs the rebound. Twin Towers are working hard together. Okay, Jackson's got the ball, sets up the offense, cross court pass to the wing. Back up top, Landon's got the ball, over to Cade, down to the block. And the ref calls three seconds, I believe, on Gage Ravine. Inbound underneath. Point guard one's got the ball. He goes around Cade. Passes it to the far side. Three-point basket is up and good. Three-point basket. Gary Ravine makes that shot. The score is five to three. 340 here in the first half. Ball ends up on the block for a wide open layup. Score is five to five. We got a 30 second timeout. The Crow Trochelle didn't like the way that was being drawn up. Wide open basket. The matchup tonight doesn't look to favor any one team when it comes to height. I will say Elgin looks to be pretty quick, but our guys, I do believe, can keep up with them. It'll be just a matter of execution. It, it looks like a pretty even matchup all the way across the board, height for height. No real size advantage on either team. I believe the tattoo advantage is even. Well, I see one. I don't see the other one. Kay's got the ball, passes the deep corner to Cooper. He dribbles, passes it into ravine number two, turnover. Jordan's got the ball, passes it over to Jaden. He picks up his dribble, passes it to Stephen Christmas, up underneath the 25, and he's able to get that layup up and in. 7 5 favor of the Owls. Ball goes over to the corner to Landon. Not a good idea on that pass. It's intercepted there in the middle, causing Cooper to commit his second foul. Oh. That was Cooper's second foul. He is subbed out by number 12, Braden Carroll. Nope. He's not subbed out. He's still in the game. I'm not sure who was subbed out. Looks like Landon was subbed out. Yeah, I think Wicker. Yep. Ball's down low. Pass as he crosses the baseline and goes out of bounds. Cooper's going to have to play careful here for a minute. Coach is leaving him in, trusting him not to pick up that third foul. Kate crosses half court with the ball over the top to Cooper. Down to Garrett, back up to the wing. He shoots the three, misses off the front of the rim. That was a good looking shot. Just barely misses, clanking off the front of the iron. Got a wide open three point shot off the front of the rim. Garrett is able to grab that rebound. Passes out to Cade. He crosses half court here on the near side. Cross court pass to Ju Cooper. Tiptoes to stay in bounds. Down on the baseline to Gage. He spins back over to Cooper. Cade's got the ball up top. Gage has got the, no, that was Garrett. He goes to the basket and commits the charge going 
the other way. That's his first foul. Harris going to full court man this, it looks like. Full court press, man to man. Elgin brings the ball across half court. It's down on the other side. 21's got the ball at the top of the key. Passes it over to 25. Jaden Parker. And the ref calls a carry on Mr. Parker. He's got a sub coming in. He's forgot to take his warm up off. Number 35, Riley Morgan, is in the game for Cooper. I think coach thought maybe it's not good for him to pick up his third foul in the fourth quarter. Okay, Jackson's got the ball, passes it over to Ravine 2. Ball's moving quickly, can't even keep up with the names. Ravine 2's got the ball, loses it, out of bounds to the Owls. Seven five in favor of the Owls. They inbound the ball. We're still playing full court man defense. Number four behind his back passes to number 21. Number four's got the ball over to the corner. He goes to the paint. Up, misses. 20, number three gets the rebound. Christian Reed puts it back up in on the left side for the score. Ball's here on the near side. We get a foul on Garrett Ravine as he tries to make a cut to the hole. Harrell will inbound the ball underneath the basket here on the near side. We got screens coming across. Ball's passed up top to Braden. He passes it to Riley. Turnover. Ball goes in on a left-handed layup the other way. Ball's on the far side. Kate's got the ball there in the paint. Misses the jump shot. Owls come away with the rebound. They're going full steam the other way. Passes to the wing. He shoots the three-point shot as the clock expires. 11 to five here in the first quarter. That wraps up the first quarter of action here in Harris. Stay tuned for the second quarter. We are back pretty quick. We want our uh, cheerleading parents to be able to watch their daughters cheer us on. I fully expect to see some video of all of our fans cheering for Hera from your living rooms. We'll be right back. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services. Welcome back for the second quarter. The Owls inbound the ball, crossing half court. Comes near side, shoots what looked like an alley-oop that goes off the backboard. Rebound by Ravine number two, passes it to Cade. Passes over to the far side. Cade's got the ball. Ravine number two takes the three-point shot and he drains it. We needed that basket, Eric. Yeah, that was nice ball movement there by the Panthers. Up-tempo passing. That foul's on Riley. Yeah. 
That's a 14 foul by Hera. The Owls will inbound the ball here just underneath the camera. Jaden's got the ball, passes it to the far side. Got a whistle. It looks like an illegal screen. Jaden Parker commits that illegal screen, giving Hera possession. We've got a sub coming in. Number 22 for Hera, Cole Cunningham. He checks in for Braden Carroll. Cage bringing the ball across half court, passes it to Riley, down to Ravine number one, passes it to his brother, defender knocks it out of bounds. Looks like a set play, they're running this one several times to feed that ball down to the block. Ravine collects the ball, passes it to Cade. Shortest guy there in the paint grabs the rebound, Katie. puts it back up. Hey, the, the side. elevator Jackson. <laughs> yes, exactly. Shortest guy in the paint. And is able to score, grab that rebound and put it back up. That brings the game to within one point. Basket goes up, miss. Cole Cunningham grabs the rebound. Kate's got the ball. I believe that young man has earned himself that nickname. The elevator. The elevator. I like it. Riley's got the ball. Passes it down to Ravine number one. He does his spin move. And the ref had a decision to make. Would he call the foul bump or would he call the travel? Coin flip calls the travel. The Owls inbound the ball underneath. Johnson's got the ball, passes up the court. Hera almost causes a turnover. That was a nice effort there by Boone. Nolan Boone does enter the game. I like his hustle. Mr. Johnson's got the ball at half court. Lightning quick. Passes it over to number one. To the paint, that's exactly where he wanted that to go. Oh. Number 25 had gotten deep, Jaden Parker. And he gets the ball and is rewarded fouled I don't know if the ref knows this or not but he did not mean to do that what foul him it's just an accident it was an accident absolutely gotta let that one go first free throw is up and misses making the foul worthwhile twin number two is coming in for twin number one Second free throw, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I don't think this is going in. I was wrong. 12 to 10 in favor of the Owls. Kay's got the ball, cross court passes. <laughs> Riley collects the pass, but is unable to stay in bounds. He had to jump through the ceiling to even collect it. The Owls miss. Harris unable to save the rebound. Owls have the ball but turn it over. We got a timeout on the floor. This looks like a 30 second timeout. We will take a minute to talk about Hera basketball. We want to thank uh, Coach Worth and our basketball coaches and the administration here at Hera for getting our games on TV. It does cost money to run these sports programs. We're losing our gates and concessions. So if you're a sponsor, a business, local business, or you know of a local business, we'd love to get their help. They can sponsor and advertise on this channel during these games. Contact the high school coach Worth or one of the basketball coaches for more information. Here's gonna inbound the ball on the far side. Cage bringing the ball up the court. Passes it over to Ravine number two. Riley's got the ball, trying to trap. Kay's got the ball. And they call the foul as he is in the middle of three owls and is able to get the shot off. Jaden Johnson just committed his second foul. 
he'll have to play careful to not pick up that third. First free throw bounces around the rim and goes in. Second free throw is away. It looks good. Nope. Bounces out. Mr. Johnson's got the ball on the far side. Passes to number 25. Down to the corner. He goes around the defender. Knocked out of bounds by Cole. Inbound underneath by the Owls. To number three. Up under, left-handed layup is up and good. That's the way to play the post. That was some pretty nice footwork there by number three. Cole's got the ball passes to Boone. He goes baseline, up and in. Oh, nice. Nice touch there. Christmas came early on that shot by Boone. Johnson brings the ball up, passes to 25. He fakes the three down to the corner, back up top, over to the other corner. He comes into the paint, takes it to the hole. Great defense. Rebound by Ravine number two. Kay's got the ball, Euro steps and loses it, coming the other way. We got one on three, he backs it out wisely. He did not want any of that, I don't blame him. Johnson says, I'll take a piece of it. Cuts to the hole and scores the right-handed layup. Cade's got the ball pass to the number two. Riley's got the ball on the other side of the court. Hits the three-point shot to tie this game. That was from way downtown for Morgan. He shot that confidently. Al's got the ball, 25, takes the three-point shot, misses. Jackson grabs a rebound, passes to Reed number two. He bounce passes it to Boone, but is intercepted by number five. Riley tries to cut him off. I think he's going to the hole, Euro steps. Coach wanted to travel. He's yelling at the ref down underneath. Basket goes in. 18 to 16. Harris got the ball on the far side. Down to Boone. He goes to the basket. In the midst of all of that traffic, misses a shot. Just over three minutes left here in the first half. Both teams here have decided to slow the tempo down a little bit. Play some half court offense. Ball's up top, goes to the far side. Johnson got the ball, passes to the top of the key. We got an open three off the front of the rim. Johnson grabs the rebound. And the ref calls a foul. Must have been away from the ball. That's Kay Jackson's first foul. I missed it. I didn't see anything right there at the point of attack. I'm assuming that was away from the ball, but I'll have to watch that one back on replay. Inbound underneath, Ravine number two steals the ball over his head. Boone's got the ball, almost carries, passes it to Cole, back to Boone. I can't keep up, but Boone finishes that. Coming out playing aggressive here in the first half. Boone's got four. Down on the block. We got a charge by number 21. That was great defense. I don't know who took the charge that got up before I could look over there. Kay's gonna bring the ball up the floor. Passes it over to Cole. Far court pass to Ravine number two, in the air, passes it to Cooper. Back out to Ravine number two, shoots the three off the front of the rim. Owls grab the rebound, up the court quickly. Good ball movement again by the Panthers. Yeah. Just unable to finish. Johnson's got the ball. Up against Cade. Cade cuts him off, falls at the top of the key. He goes, tries to go around Cole, Cole cuts him off. Back up top to Jaden. Over here to Jordan. Over to the deep three. Yeah. 
Panthers do a good job of clogging the lane up that time, forcing the deep three. Yep. I'll take that every day. Ends up hustling for the rebound on the far side, goes out on the Owls, pair of ball. 18-18, 120 left in the game. Hair crosses half court. Cade's got the ball. Setting up the offense. Cooper wasn't sure that pass was to him. The ball goes out of bounds. I think I missed what happened there. Was that a trick play that they had dialed up? Maybe. I know a couple of these guys just got out of football here last week and haven't been with the team long. Maybe don't know that play yet. Owls have the ball. They take a deep three from the near side, unable to drop it. Retain possession. Great cut and pass. Right-handed layup. Hare comes back down the court quickly the other way. Nice hesitation. Oh, my goodness. Cade makes a great move, but they call a charge. Unable to collect that basket. What a great looking move. Yeah, nice hesitation and stutter step there. I really didn't see the charge, but wasn't looking for it. The Owls have the ball. Looks like they're going to hold it for the last shot. 23 seconds in the game, 20 to 18. Cade's guarding. He needs to not pick up his third foul. Number 25, Jaden Parker's got the ball. Passes it up top. 13 seconds left. Over number 20. Back to number one. Jordan's got the ball. They're going to move towards the goal any second. Screen. Back over to number 25. He hits the basket. And he's fouled. That basket counts. Panthers did a real good job of defense there for the majority of that That whole play. possession. And on the final possession, he's able to run it in and have the and one attempt. Jaden's at the line, cleaning up the one and one, or the and one, misses. And that takes us to halftime. 22 to 18 in favor of the Owls. We will stay with you. We want to watch our cheerleaders cheer you on. Give them a big hand from all over the world where you might be watching this game tonight. Fantastic. Well, right before we go to a halftime break, we will let you know that homecoming follows this game. We will take a couple minutes to set up and then stay tuned for your 2020-2021 homecoming court. Thank you for watching. We will be right back. Is to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're gonna be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off.
dream like the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Sailor can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Network can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off.
the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people. And our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wire? We welcome you back to Hera High School for the second half between Elgin and the Panthers. This is shaping up to be a pretty good ball game. May end up coming down to a buzzer beater. Got a handful of Panthers with three points in the first half. Boone Jr. leading the team with four. Yeah, he came in and got both of those in the second quarter. Yeah, yeah, the one he just spun off the front of the rim with that English. That was a pretty fun shot to watch go in. I think being able to feed the block, but we've been saying that a lot this year. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not too concerned about the way the Panthers have run the offense tonight. They were moving the ball well. And on the defensive side, really what I'm seeing is as long as we can keep them out of the paint, force those deep threes, we got a real good chance to hold them to, to less points than we're, I think, going to be able to score. Here, inbounds the ball, gets it down deep. Well, there you go. They fed the block. and That's exactly what we were looking for. Garrett gets fouled, Looks trying like to go up for the left-handed layup. It's going to be a good start for us if we can sink these two. Garrett's got the ball at the free throw line. First shot's up. Bounces around and misses. Second free throw's up. That one looks a lot better, and it's good. Cuts the lead to three. Ball's coming the other way. Jordan's got the ball at the top of the key. Passes it down to number 25. Ball's over to the far side. Three-point shot is up and good by Jaden Johnson. He didn't even hesitate. Yeah, they forced the, the three. Uh, I can live with that to this point. 25 for the Owls have been uh, their best offensive option when he takes advantage of those backdoor cuts. So I think you can live with the Owls shooting those threes unless they continue to hit them. Pass goes deep to number one, Garrett Ravine. Ball wanted to go in, decides to bounce back out. 
25-16 here in the third quarter. Ball comes around to the short side. Jordan's got the ball through his legs. Brings it back out to the wing. Over to the far side. Here, Mr. Johnson shoots another three. And that one bounces off the front of the rim. You don't want him to get hot. Cooper's got the ball coming up the near side. Passes it to the corner and down to Garrett. Back out to Landon. Cade's going to collect the ball, set up his offense. Cade's got the ball here on the wing. He shoots a three, rebound. Garrett's got the ball, puts up the right hand layup. It's too hard. Alice collect the rebound. Ball ends up deep. Number 25 gets it on the block and knows exactly what to do with it. 27-19, Coach, Coach Rochelle doesn't like the way that looks and he calls a timeout. This is a full timeout. We'll take a break and be right back. It's network week. Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Welcome back. Harris going to inbound the ball at half court. Kay's got the ball on the far side. Down low to Ravine number one. He cross court passes it. Ravine number two ends up with it. Three point shot off the back of the rim. Ravine number one grabs a rebound. Does a nice spin move. Up for the layup. Misses. Landon grabs a rebound. Three shots. No basket. Harris ends up with the ball. Kay's got the ball. He's going to the hole. Oh, goodness. That was a great take. He's fouled on the left-handed layup, and he's going to shoot two shots. Okay, Jackson's on the line. We need these to fall. First free throw is up. Bounces around and misses. Second free throws up, and it is in. 27 to 20, full court pressure. Trapped there in the corner, gets it out. Ball crosses half court. Now we're going to reset. Johnson got the ball here on this side. He gets it picked. We got a travel call. The ref. The coach here on the near side tried to call a timeout, but he didn't have possession. Harris is able to get the ball. Cooper inbounds it to Jackson. He walks it across half court. Over to the far side, ravine number one passes ravine number two. He shoots the three and it's blocked by Jaden Parker. Inbound underneath, Cooper's got the ball passes to Ravine number two. Ball's up top. Landon ends up with the ball, gives it to Jackson. Back over to Ravine number two, Gage. Over to Cooper. Down underneath to Landon. Cross court to Jackson. He tries the Euro step, loses the ball, back with it, shoots it blocked. Owls have the ball. We got a 30 second timeout for the Owls.
Doesn't look like they're going to do a timeout. Look like an injury timeout. I think number four there may have had the breath knocked out of him. But he's going to stay in the game. Dow's inbound the ball on the far side. Johnson's got the ball. Over to the far side. Johnson's up the ball at the top of the key. He shoots the three and he hits it. Ten point game. In favor of the Owls. Harris got the ball, turns it over. Harris able to get it back. We got a spin move by Ravine number two. Unable to get that to fall. What a great move. I don't know how that didn't drop. Cade was trying not to push as it came down. Number 31, Boone's coming in. Number zero for the Owls is coming in. We got him lined up down the free throw line for the inbound. Got a double screen. Able to get into the far side, back up top. Number zero's got the ball here on this side. Back up to number three. He passes it deep. Number 25 ends up with the ball down low, and he puts it in. It looked like he had set up a tent down there for a little camping. 32 to 20. That's a timeout by Hera. We'll take a break as well. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. Welcome back to Hera High School. Hera's got the ball at half court. Cooper inbounds it to Jackson. He crosses half court. He's coming to the near side, passes it to Gage. Cooper's got the ball here on the wing. He brings it back to the corner, back to Jackson. Up, up over the top. Gage gets the ball, shoots it. But he's blocked. Owls are coming back fast the other way. Nice little pass. Cooper blocks his shot for some great defense. Cooper says, I see your block, and I'll double and you I'll up raise on that. You one. That's right. That was nice defense. More nice defense. Garrett blocks the inbound pass. Cade's coming up the near side, goes through the defenders, and he travels. Once again, I don't think he meant to, but the ref's going to call it anyway. Yeah, ref, ref's not taking it easy on these guys. I mean, these accidents happen. Johnson brings the ball across half court over to Jaden. Jordan's got the ball. He goes up and scores it. He's a nice floater over Twin Tower number one. This ball is getting away from Hera. Pretty quick. Good job of Ravine not coming down and taking a foul, though, giving the and one attempt. Cooper's got the ball at the top of the key. Passes over to Cade. He shoots the three. It looks good, and it is good. And he knows it. He never dropped his hand. Had his hand in the cookie jar. He knew that one was going in. Well, when you get your feet set, follow through the shot. 
Foul called on Cooper, his third. Inbound across half court. Johnson's going to walk it up. Passes to the near side. Goes into the paint, back out. Good ball movement. Two points. Harris got the ball. Cooper's got it here on the near side. He brings it back to the wing. Cole's got the ball, passes it to Boone. Back to Cole. Over to Cooper. It's stolen by Johnson. He wants to dunk it, but he's just going to go up for a layup. Cooper with the deep three. Ravine grabs the rebound and is fouled on the floor trying to go back up. Inbound underneath, out to Cooper. He hits Boone, who turns it over. Just a little miscommunication there. Johnson's going to walk it up the floor. Now it looks like he's carrying the ball. Is he not? Now the slower they dribble, the more it looks like they are carrying. Back up top. Passes over to the middle. Tries to go around the defender. Backs it out through his legs. Passes it to Jaden, number 25. He's got the ball being guarded by Boone. I think they're just wasting clock here, trying to get the last shot. Yeah. Only 20 seconds left on the clock. Our clock is a little off on the TV screen there. 17, 15, 14. Yep, going for the last shot. Up underneath, miss it, get the rebound. 25 gathers it and puts it up. Five Two. seconds left now. Cole's got the ball. He goes shoot a long shot, almost from half court, and he misses. 40 to 23 to end the third quarter. We will take a short break and be right back. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're gonna be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and Welcome back as we uh, get ready to start the fourth quarter. Owl's ball coming out of this quarter. Johnson's going to bring the ball across half court, guarded by Cooper. Over to the wing. Back over to this side, being guarded by Cole, passes it to the other side. Johnson's got the ball. He shoots a deep three off the front of the rim. Garrett grabs that rebound, secures it. Hare's going the other way. We got a turnover. Johnson's going to take it all the way to the rim. Left-handed layup for two. That was not a good pass by Hare. Ball game starting to get away from the Panthers. <laughs> Hare turns it over. And we got a big time dunk. Garrett Ravine throws it down. Let's hope that gives the Panthers some momentum here to get back in this ball game. But you want to know something? Nope. We get a dunk the other way, but he holds on to the rim a tad too long. 
and a technical is called. All I got to say after those two plays is da-na-na, da-na-na. Definitely high highlight worthy on both ends of the court. Technical foul. Shot's going to be shot by Garavine. He puts that in. The ref bounced it off Ravine's foot. Second free throw. He's going to drain this one, making it 44 to 27. Harris ball at half court. Down more than they need to be. Jackson back in the ball game. He's the leading scorer thus far tonight. Passes it over to Ravine number two, to Ravine number one. Back to Jackson. Cross, cross to Ravine. Euro step. Shots blocked. The Owls are able to gain possession. And coach calls a timeout. Cheerleaders are going to cheer us on. Let's hear it out there, Hair Panthers. Good job, Cheerios. Coming out of timeout, 6.43 here in the game. 44-27 in favor of the Owls. I do smell a comeback. Do you smell that? I smell it. Yeah, Panthers I don't think are out of this ball game. Owls have possession on the far side. Ref hands the Owls the ball. Full court man. Behind the back, crossover. Cade's able to stay with him. Over to Jaden, he's got the ball at the top. Boone's guarding him. Pass to the wing, goes around Cade. I do not see that block or that foul. But Gage is called on the body as he blocks the shot. Yeah, I think from a fan's perspective, I would call that call terrible. From the broadcast booth here, I think I would just say it was a missed call. Certainly looked like a clean block from my vantage point. I find that when I'm broadcasting, I'm not allowed to say all the things that I would say if I was watching just, just by myself. Both free throws are good, 46, 27. Kate's got the ball in the paint. He's able to go up, Kate not able to finish elevator it. just can't finish. That was a great move to get open, though. Johnson's got the ball, trying to get around Cade. Cade backs him out. Backdoor pass, up under, and miss. Boone grabs the rebound. Up the far side, Braden's got the ball. Passes to twin number two. He shoots the three. That looks good. Off the front of the rim. Outside the ball at the free throw. Pass down to 25. He gets blocked by Ravine number two, who blocks again. Two blocks in a row. Boone is fighting for it. Knocks Johnson out of the play. Harris got the ball two on one. Ravine number two goes up, misses. Boone tries to put it back and misses as well. Owls come back the other way. That was a lot of action for 30 seconds. Hey, I thought we were about to see uh, some boxing gloves come out, but Good to see that things have settled down a little bit. Panthers Johnson. really fighting hard, just need some of these shots to drop. 
Ball's back up top. Jaden Parker's got it, passes it to Christian. Over to the far corner. Down to the block, Christian's got it. Up and in. Coach Rochelle's wanting them to run the ball up the floor. They are behind. Harris got possession, inbounds it at the far side. Jackson's got the ball, passes it to this side. Connor's got it, dribbles it out, back to Jackson, down to Boone, over to Jackson. I just want him to elevate and shoot that three. Up, under, not able to finish it. Ravine tries to grab the rebound, goes out of bounds on the Owls. Subs are coming in. Devane Cooper. Lane and Wicker both are coming in. Four minutes and 21 seconds left in the game. Inbound to Cooper, over to Landon. He sees the paint clear, tries to go up, loses possession. Ball out of bounds to the Owls. Ball's on the far side, full court man. Stolen by Landon. He is able to try to keep it inbounds. I said he's able to try to keep it inbounds. That is terrible English. <laughs> I'll give you a pass. Unable to keep it inbounds. Johnson's got the ball. Crosses half court. Goes around Cooper, but he tries to carry the ball, and that's not allowed. He has an awkward dribble. I've thought a couple of times tonight they could have got him with the carry. They finally see it that time. We got a 60 second timeout, four minutes left in the game. They take a break and we will take a break as well. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. Welcome back. Four minutes left in the game, 48-27 in favor of the Owls. It's Harris ball here on the near side. Cooper inbounds it to Jackson. He's crossing half court. Passes it over to Brayton. Passes it up top to Landon. Down to Braden, over to twin number two. He puts the ball up and is fouled. That's a great play. Christian Reed commits his second foul. Gage is going to shoot two. First one's up. It's a little flat off the back of the rim. He's going to clean this one up, though. Second shot. Off the back of the rim. Cooper jumps through the ceiling, grabs the rebound. He goes up, and he's fouled. Jake commits that foul. That's his third. Cooper's going to shoot two. First one's up. Looks good. And it is. Game's getting closer. Cooper's second shot. Looks good. Bottom of the net. 48-29. Harris got full court pressure.
Johnson's got the ball here on the far side, passes it deep. Number 12 steals the ball. I'm not sure what they call, but it's Harris' ball. Jackson crosses half court, passes it over to the far side. Cooper's got the ball at the top, down to the corner. We're going to need three the rest of the way. Let's shoot this one, Cade. Knocks that one. Nope. Looked good. But Harris is able to grab the long rebound all the way back at half court. Lane has got the ball, passes it to twin number two, far side. Kay Jackson is fouled on the pass. That is the seventh foul of the half. One and one. First free throws up and then misses. Owls have the ball. Fouls committed. I'm going to say that Braden Carroll raked his arms. I was going to inbound the ball underneath, full court man. Breaking the press, they cross half court. And we got another foul. Cooper commits a foul. That is his fourth foul of the night. Inbound here by the Owls. Looks like we're in a man defense. Number 20 go on, goes around at Jackson. Blocked by Gage. He's got three or four blocks here just in this half. Ball ends up back up top. Crosses half court, or on this side of the court. Picks up his dribble, he's at the top of the key. Crosses over, passes to the wing. Ball bounces out of bounds. Panthers get lucky there. Owls going into a stall game and can't keep control of the ball. Gives the Panthers another opportunity to close the gap. Riley Morgan comes in for Kay Jackson. Looks like he might be done for the evening. Pass over the top. Far side. Morgan's open on the other side. Got a kick ball. Got a few subs. Austin Coley's going to make his way into the game. Braden Carroll is going to sub out. Harris got the ball down on the baseline, passes to Austin. Down on the block. Gage goes one way, turns around, goes the other, and drains the shot. Nice move. Forty-eight thirty-one. Timeout. We got a thirty-second timeout. Coming out of timeout, Owls have the ball. Crosses over, setting up there in the middle. 
Passes it back to the middle. Harris, pressure defense, trying to get a turnover. Owl's still trying to stall, run the rest of the clock out. Minute 18 left in the game. Harris got him trapped up at the top. Turns it over. Austin's got the ball, passes to Cooper. He will try to finish That's that. That's going to be a goaltend, I believe. They call basket interference. And I'll take that. Cooper's coming out. Connor Lay is in the game. Al's inbound the ball down low. Trap, far side. Goes around this defender. <clears throat> number one's got the ball. Back down to number five. He misses, Coley grabs the rebound. Nobody told number five they were playing keep away. Gives us another chance. And that was a great pass. Cole gets down on the floor, hustling for the tie-up. Coach is able to call a timeout. This is a full timeout, and we will take a short break. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com. Call us at 800-641-2732. Welcome back. Harris got the ball on the far side. Riley shoots to three, unable to connect. We're still trapping. Harris trying to put a lot of pressure on to end this game. Valiant effort. The owls were just too much. Three-point shot is blocked by Riley. He grabs the rebound. Bounce pass to Landon. Eurostep goes up left hand. No foul called. Ref's content to let this one expire. And that is the game. 48 to 33. A valued effort by the Hair Panthers. Unable to come up with a win this, this evening. We want to thank you for tuning in. Next games are Tuesday night against Tecumseh. For you, are those games home or away? Those will be home games, so we'll be on this, this channel again on Tuesday night for both the JV games. Actually, I don't know if the JV boys will play or not. They may still be in quarantine. JV girls, varsity girls, varsity boys, and that'll conclude the games prior to Christmas. We will stay tuned tonight for the homecoming court as they get set up, we will take a short break and we will be right back. We're stopped by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information.
Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information.
Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho plug. Welcome back to Hera High School. I don't know how long it's going to be. But we are going to broadcast this homecoming court. We won't be announcing it on the radio. We'll try to just listen to the overhead announcement. Out 
Jen over there is running the show. I would ask her. I think, I don't know, you, usually they come out separate, don't they? Hey, oh yeah, the coach is lining them up. She's got him.
Cranberry is four-year-old Wyatt. 
Jared is the son of Michael and Carolyn Ravine and Chastity Cooper. He has played baseball for four years and basketball for two. After graduation, Jared would like to attend college and play baseball. That is Oakley, Wyatt, and Jared. We would like to welcome back this year our 2020 queen, Katie King. Katie is, Katie is the daughter of Danny and Lucy King. She's a freshman at Cameron University. She's on the women's basketball team with plans to major in finance and then obtain her master's in business administration. Escorting Katie is senior number 10, Kate Ritter. Kate is the son of Kendra and Tamara Ritter. He has played basketball for nine years and has been a member of Hera Varsity Basketball for two years. He plans to go to EOC Tech and obtain his HVAC certification. Welcome back, Katie. Thank you, Katie. This year's queen, Gracie Yosting. close. is in our orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency 